All right, guys, welcome back to some more MLB 9 Innings 22, and this video is going to be another guide covering the best starting pitcher skills and sets in the game. And so this video is going to be based off of the Fufu starting pitcher guide that is out there on Reddit. If you guys want to go check that out, it'll be linked in the description. Lots of great stuff. This is kind of a collaborative effort with him. I reached out a little while back and asked if I could take some of those guides and pretty much make a video form of them. He gives me lots of great information. A lot of what I know and based stuff off of is from him and those guides. So like I said, most of the stuff I talk about in this video will be taken directly from what he talks about in the guide. There may be certain aspects I don't get as detailed as he does, but I want to let you guys know he is being compensated for this. I reached out to him and said, hey, I'm definitely going to be paying you to be able to do this and use your work. And he said no, but I was like, you put a lot of hard time and effort into these and you, you deserve it. And I appreciate you letting me do this. So I'm so glad that I'm able to work with him to be able to bring something like this to you guys. And just an important note before we get this one started, don't go after watching this video and say, because Jay Fish said this, everything else that contradicts it is incorrect or invalid. No, there's different perspectives and people will give different advice about what skills and sets are good and bad or what works and what doesn't. Now, Fufu is very knowledgeable about the game. He puts a lot of time and effort into it. And a lot of what he says I have found to be correct. But you guys also got to remember that certain skills will get nerfed over time and some skills that are good now may not be as good down the road and some that are bad now may be better down the road. That the game is always changing and that's part of the fun of the game. If everything stayed the same and was static, once you get to end game, there would be no points of play anymore besides just trying to finish high and ranked or club battles and stuff. So now with all that being said, this Fufu Reddit guide is a few months old, but as of February 2022, when this video goes up, it still seems to be intact. So we present to you guys the best starting pitcher skills and sets. Let's go ahead and get this one started. Okay, so to get this one started, a point I want to make, the reason I'm doing this starting pitcher skill guide first before all the others is because the most important aspect of the game seems to be starting pitchers and the fact that having a good skill set on them is crucial in improving in both ranked and club battle. All right, so a few things before we get into usable skills and sets is the fact that the last boss when mentoring first came out seemed to be not as good anymore because at level 19, you could choose one gold skill of your choice and drop that level by three, essentially nerfing the skill and making it not as useful. And the last boss was the prime target back then. But nowadays, most people seem to choose charisma, the batter skill, which means you can only choose one skill at a time. So that means not as many people are nerfing the last boss. And on top of it, when black diamond cards came out, you could get a skill to level eight. Well, if you get boss to level eight, it drops all batter uh, stats by 12 which means if they have barreled up, which is a good skill with the additional effects by having speed 100 or higher, if they don't have speed, at least 112, that means you drop it 12 points and it's under 100, you pretty much take away the usefulness of barreled up. And barreled up nowadays with additional effects is very good. So that's, that's a plus right there. Another thing I wanted to address is the fact that in general, finesse pitcher trains are better than dominant pitcher trains. So hear me out, dominant pitcher is a great skill. It increases strikeout rate and it leads to less solo home runs, but it also weakens location with the dominant pitcher train. Higher velo could lead to more walks. And if you get someone on base by a walk and maybe you get two walks in a row, you one hit could lead to one or multiple runs. And if this happens a few innings, I mean, that can add up. Where, yes, finesse pitcher trains here with Alex Wood that I have on him. Yes, they can give up more solo home runs, but in general, you're going to have a lower batting average and whip, which means less people on base, and that minimizes the damage. So from what I found, I'm comparing these two. Finesse Pitcher seems to be more consistent in giving up less one runs and giving wins than Clayton Kershaw is with the Dominant Pitcher train. Now, Clayton Kershaw, when he's on, he barely gives up a hit. He does really well, but there are certain games where he struggles a ton, and it, if I played that same team with Wood, he wouldn't give up as many uh, runs most likely. So that's something I want to point out for you guys. And one last thing is that, yes, cleaning up your mess is a good skill, but it is not required to improve significantly in ranked. So when a runner is not on base, cleaning up your mess is not activated. And Fu talks about how it's honestly better to have three good gold skills that are always activated instead of having a set that has cleaning up your mess that is not activated at times. But Cleaning up your mess is still a good skill and it is not a bad set if you have it. Just wanted to put that out there. All right, so now it is time to talk about the usable skills for starting pitchers. And we'll start off with the legend skills. So the best legend skill by far is slow starter. In the first inning, you start with plus 10 to location, velo, and stamina. And then each additional inning after that, you can get more points to location and velo all the way up until the fifth. The amount of points you can get is based off of how many pitches your pitcher throws. And the more pitches they throw, the more points you can get to location and velo all the way up until 10. So... 
All said and done, by the time you get to the fifth inning, if you have the maximum amount of points, you would have plus 10 to stamina and then plus 20 to both location and velo, which how do you beat a skill like that that gets better over time? And the location of velo improving is offsetting the effects of your pitcher getting tired. So the only way you can really exploit this card is trying to get your runs early in that first inning before it starts adding the additional points location and velo. So the next two legend skills we're going to talk about are Fireballer and Control Master. Think of these as advanced versions of Dominant Pitcher and Finesse Pitcher. So we'll start with Fireballer. Essentially, it's Dominant Pitcher. You get an increase to velocity and fastball, but you also decrease the batter's power and eye. And then Control Master is pretty much Finesse Pitcher. You get an increase to location and break, but you also de decrease the batter's power and contact. So literally, you're, you're getting Finesse Pitcher and Dominant Pitcher, plus you're decreasing the stats. You can't go wrong with that. And so the last legend skill we're going to talk about is bullpen day, and it's not as good for starting pitchers as it is for relievers, but it's still usable. You get plus 12 to all stats, excluding stamina. And the reason it's better for relievers is because relievers in the first three innings get plus 18 to all four stats, excluding stamina, but it's still usable with another good gold skill. Okay, so now we're going to start talking about useful gold skills, and we're going to start with Dominant Pitcher, and I refer to Dominant Pitcher when talking about Fireballer, but with this skill, you get an increase of Velocity and Fastball, and then if you have at least plus 15 more to Velocity and Fastball combined than Location and Break combined, then you get additional effects to that increase as well. And so going off of that, Finesse Pitcher is pretty much exactly the same as Dominant Pitcher, except it's the opposite in that you get an increase to location and break instead of velocity and fastball. And you get an additional increase to location and break if you have plus 15 more location and break combined than velocity and fastball combined. All right, the next skill we're going to talk about is cleaning up your mess. And essentially, if a batter gets on by a self-inflicted mistake, a.k.a. you give up a hit, then all the stats increase except for stamina and the one thing is with this skill though is it's not always activated so if the bases are empty the skill is useless and it's not being used so the next skill up is the last boss and think of this literally as the charisma but for pitchers so charisma for batters decreases all the stats of the pitcher the last boss for pitcher decreases all the stats of the batter and so the last of the really usable gold skills we're going to talk about is the untouchable and just like it says the ability to catch the batter off guard increases which this is more of i believe related to a chance thing not as much involving stat increases or de decreases don't quote me on that but this skill pretty much it's useful with another good gold skill that we talked about and so the last useful gold skills i want to mention are inning eater and iron will and i'm not going to go into what they do i'm just going to tell you that they're really only seen as a third skill which what i mean by that is if you have two of the other good gold skills i just talked about or a legend skill with that as well then it could be useful but besides that these are ones you're probably just going to want to stay away from and finally last but not least we're going to talk about the useful silver skills which includes pitching machine and stability so for pitching machine the ability to throw fastballs and breaking balls increases we're not going to dive much more into what that means we're just going to leave it like that and then for stability, it increases the location and break stats based off of the catcher's fielding. So if the catcher has higher fielding stats, you get more of an increase to both location and break. All right, so now that we covered the useful skills for starting pitchers, we're going to transition into what are some very strong sets or combinations of these skills that are good in higher levels of rank. So if you have one of these sets, congratulations. Okay, so to start on the screen, we have some sets that include at least three of the following. The Last Boss, Untouchable, Clean Up Your Mess, Dominant Pitcher, Furnace Pitcher. And I'll leave these up for a few seconds for you guys to screenshot, and then we'll keep moving through. So next up, we have some sets that include Pitching Machine, and keep in mind that these need to be comboed with at least two of the gold skills that we just previously talked about. And also another note, Pitching Machine, Dominant Pitcher, and Clean Up Your Mess is a bit weaker than these other sets. All right, next up on the screen, we have some sets that include stability that is at least at level four. And some of the weaker sets includes clean up your mess, dominant pitcher stability, pitching machine, dominant pitcher stability, and then pitching machine, finesse pitcher and stability. And next up on the screen, we have some sets that include any eater and some sets that are a little bit weaker than the other include untouchable, dominant pitcher and inning eater, and also pitching machine, dominant pitcher and inning eater. And last but not least, we have some sets that include Iron Will, and Iron Will needs to be at least level four as well. 
And then one of these sets that's a little bit weaker than the other is Untouchable, Dominant Pitcher, and Iron Will. Alrighty, and to finish this guide, the last thing we're going to talk about is what gold skills should you make level 8 when you have a Black Diamond card special trained to level 10. So, in general, FUBU says that the last boss is number 1, Finesse Pitcher number 2, Untouchable number 3, and Dominant Pitcher number 4. But if you have Untouchable and Finesse Pitcher and you have the Finesse Pitcher train, make Untouchable level 8 and not Finesse Pitcher. And then also something I want to show you guys, when you have Finesse Pitcher and Dominant Pitcher, which one do you make level 8? So he talks about how if you have a Finesse Pitcher train, if you have more than 20 to Location and Break combined, then Velocity and Fastball combined, go ahead and do Dominant Pitcher level 8, which with this Grinky, I have what? 23 more to location and break than below in fastball. So I went ahead and went dominant pitcher level eight. But if it's less than 20 that you have more to location and break than velocity and fastball, you can go ahead and make finesse pitcher level eight on top of that. And then for a dominant pitcher train, make finesse pitcher level eight. So with that being said, that pretty much does it for this guide. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope it was very helpful and informative and another big shout out to Fufu for letting me use his guides for these videos. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And then also, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.